There's music playing in the slaver room. A birth companion to comfort the pregnant woman. किसलिए बिठाया आपको मालूम है? हिम्मत देने के लिए. हिम्मत देने के लिए. Curtains to ensure her privacy. A government hospital with a difference that is implementing respectful maternity care. Most public and private hospitals in the country, including some of the best known ones, present a stark contrast. Listen in on the experiences of mothers who recently had their deliveries at government hospitals. सरकारी में सब कुछ फ्री हो जाता है तो हम लोग तभी जाते हैं कि हम सरकारी में जाएंगे डॉक्टर से वो ऐसे बिहेव करते हैं बट उनकी जो लैंग्वेज वो इतनी वर्गर होती है हाँ जी बताइए क्या करने आए हो प्यार से बोलेंगे तभी हम वो बोलेंगे कि हाँ भी हमें ये प्रॉब्लम है उसका नाम नहीं याद गायनी का तो उसने बहुत बैडली ट्रीट किया था एंड शी वॉज सिंग क्या इतना मोटा शरीर है ऊपर से खांसी है ऊपर से थायराइड है ऊपर से ब्लड नहीं है नाइन ग्राम ब्लड है मैं तो नहीं तुम्हारी डिलीवरी करूंगी यहाँ से जाओ तो प्राइवेट में कोई इसलिए अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि वो हम जब भी जाओ ना वो ऐसे हमें गाइड करते हैं जैसे पता नहीं क्या चीज़ है मेरा हस्बैंड प्राइवेट है वो नहीं करवा सकता है प्राइवेट भी फिर उन्होंने सामू रजिंदरा चौहान भेज दिया सी भी उत्थी करवाओ जाते हैं काफ़ी दूर काफ़ी टाइम लग गया सी पौने दो घंटे लग गए थे मैं पूरी दर्द सी मेरी इन्नी हालत खराब सी उन्होंने कहें सके पानी मैं अपने हसबैंड को कहें कि मैं इन्ना पानी दे दो इन्ना पानी दे दो मैं पता है सवेर के चार बजे तो लेके देखो दो बज गए موسیقی ہم نے سرکاری ہسپیٹل ڈاکٹر تو چھٹی میں تھے ہم گئے رات کو تو جو مجھے درد ہوا تو وہ کہتے ہیں وہ لے جاؤ بھی یہاں پہ نہیں ہے डॉक्टर छुट्टी पे हैं तो फिर हम उन्होंने कहा फिर हम वहाँ पे गए उन्होंने कहा भी पानी की थाली भी फट चुकी है और नाड़ू बच्चे का बिचकार में है फिर उन्होंने हमें रेफर कर दिया बत्तीस में हम बत्तीस में गए फिर बत्तीस में इसकी डिलीवरी हुई वहाँ पे कुछ ऐसा था कि जैसे 300-400 के करीब पेशेंट्स होते थे तो एक ही डॉक्टर बैठा है بی پی کے لیے آپ کو مطلب لائن لمبی اتنی اتنی اس کنڈیشن میں اتنی بری حالت ہو جاتی ہے کہ کھڑے رہو مطلب جب اتنے زیادہ پیشنٹس آپ کو پتا ہے کہ گورنمنٹ میں آتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے سب ہی آتے ہیں چھوٹے بڑے لوگ سب آتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے ایک ہی بی پی پریٹر سے آپ سب کو چیک کر رہے ہو ٹھیک ہے کوئی باہر اتنا حراس ہو رہا ہے اتنے کھڑے ہیں تو مطلب وہ اپنی باتیں گپ شپ میں لگے ہیں چائے پی رہے ہیں اتنی روڈلی بیہیو کر These voices find resonance with women in different geographic locations in the country. Women define respectful care as an indicator of quality of care. They talk of availability and access of cleanliness and hygiene. Take for instance denial of care caused by lack of infrastructure like beds. This room has two mothers and two babies on each bed. प्रॉब्लम तो है मैम देखो जैसे मैं लेटना चाह रही हूँ मुझे लेटने की स्पेस नहीं मिल रही है बिकॉज उनका भी बेबी है उन्होंने भी करना है इसलिए प्रॉब्लम है इवन कि पीछे मैं अगर बैग अपनी लगाना चाह रही हूँ वो भी नहीं लगा पा रही प्रॉब्लम तो अनकंफर्टेबल तो दोनों ही हो रहे हैं एक्सपर्ट से नेगेटिव एक्सपीरियंसिस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू फेयर एंड डिस्ट्रस्ट ऑफ हेल्थ फेसिलिटीज लीडिंग टू अंडर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेज While the number of women who deliver at government hospitals has registered an increase in the last 10 years, 
there has not been a proportionate decline in maternal and newborn deaths. The maternal mortality rate has reduced to 167 for every 1 lakh live births, but it is still over twice the target of 70 set to be achieved under the Sustainable Development Goals. Sustained efforts are necessary to bridge the gap. चुपचाप थी ठीक ही थी हम वो ही है कि जो चुपचाप रहेगा उन्हीं को संभालते हैं वो आप चुपचाप थे मैं तो चुपचाप ही थी चुपचाप नहीं होते बस उनको तो वो डांटते हैं फिर Ensuring respect and dignity is becoming a critical indicator of quality in maternal health care. But few health care providers are sensitized about its importance. It could impact the pregnant woman's decision to return to the public facilities. Many cannot afford the exorbitant costs in the private facilities and opt for home delivery. A majority of health care providers, including doctors, view respectful maternity care as an esoteric concept. There are very few studies conducted on the subject. There are very few platforms for women to express their voices about their experience during pregnancy. In the meantime, we see normalization of disrespect and abuse in maternity care across private and public health systems. Women face subtle discrimination, even overt violence, like being slapped and abused during labor. Many doctors and nurses continue the controversial and wrong technique of funnel pressure or manual pressure to the uppermost part of the uterus to practically force the baby out. Here, the staff have climbed the labor table to push on the abdomen. It could lead to perineal lacerations and urinary problems. Independent studies in Punjab, Orissa and Assam released this month have found that mistreatment during childbirth across facilities is widely prevalent. We were good to see that this is a disrespect. How is it happening? How is it happening? How is it happening? And what is happening? What can we do? And because one observation is also that this disrespect is more Asian or Indian setting. Why is it happening in other places? How do you change yourself? And why can't we change ourselves? The studies have identified seven categories of disrespect and abuse that violate the universal rights of childbearing women. They include abandonment or denial of care, non-dignified care, non-consented care, non-confidential care, physical abuse, detention or demand for payment, discrimination. There is still some sort of discriminatory behavior, discriminatory attitude towards people who come from poor backgrounds or who are uneducated or who don't immediately understand what uh, is being said to them. Um, there is still uh, a problem of leaving the patient in the delivery room by herself. Uh, there is still a problem of not allowing birth companions inside. There is still a problem of uh, rough physical handling. According to the White Ribbon Alliance, a network of maternal health advocates, there should be zero tolerance for disrespect and abuse in any kind of facility. In order to uh, make uh, respectful care standardized, uh, we need to work at multiple levels. I think the first thing that we need to do is to, we need to talk to providers. We need to understand how do we create an enabling environment where the providers can actually provide respectful care. I think we should not undermine this necessity. I think the second thing is we need to focus more on paying enough attention to the needs of the women. And I think the third and very important thing is how do we really include women, their families and the communities in trying to ensure that service uptake is better, service availability is better. The government says it is ensuring improvements in the experience of childbirth in labor rooms and operation theaters across the country. The objective is to provide respectful maternity care. The government has recently launched Laksha Program, which is basically, you know, focused on uh, immediate, uh, uh, you know, intrapartum care as well as uh, immediate postpartum care. So here, what we have uh, done is that, you know, this Lancet paper had come earlier. We showed that you know if you if you give quality of care at birth, you can reduce 46 percent maternal mortality and you know 40 percent neonatal mortality, including stillbirth. And already uh, you know seven states we have done state orientation, 
and 250 facilities have been projected to where, where this program will be rolled out. We are taking, you know, medical colleges, district hospital and FRU or first referral unit in the first stage. We have a checklist which will be run and then we have our parameters on which the, uh, the uh, you know, facility will be uh, uh, basically evaluated. We have already allowed birth companion to, to, to the woman in, uh, in labor room. Uh, we have also now we have also shared standardization of uh, you know labor room designs which we have shared with these states coming up after the break a unique hospital committed to respectful maternity care at pgi chandigarh a tertiary care center lack of infrastructure and human resources have been identified as major challenges in ensuring all dimensions of respectful maternity care. For instance, birth companions, privacy and a bed for each woman in the postnatal ward. We need more number of doctors and more number of sisters and more facilities, that also, and more space, of course. This labor room was built when PGI was built in 63-64. And since then, the population of Chandigarh has increased manifold and the patient load has increased manifold, but the space is the same. Now, though we are trying, government has already sanctioned us new mother and newborn center. Today only we got that approval, you know. Meanwhile, the 60-year-old government medical college and hospital in Aurangabad, Maharashtra is leading by example. Respectful maternity care here starts with the outpatient department for pregnant mothers. There are no queues, no chaos. It helps that the staff is courteous and the workflow well organized. छोटे उम्र के डॉक्टर हो गए तो मेरे को वो बेटा करके कॉल कर रहे थे तो वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा और जो वर्कर्स है जो ये सिटिंग टेबल्स पे जो जो सब बैठे हुए हैं वो बहुत अच्छी तरह से बात करके मुझे बता रहे थे अब अब आ जाओ एक घंटे बाद आपको आना है ये सब अच्छी तरह से बात कर रहे थे तो वो भी मुझे अच्छा लगा सॉफ्ट म्यूजिक प्लेज ऑन एज कर्टन्स शील्ड प्रेग्नेंट वुमेन फ्रॉम द सन Compare this with another outpatient department in the same hospital. Birth companion register is there, so their name is enrolled. For those who can read, there's a lot of relevant information in different languages. We think that as a healthcare provider, if I am treating her, if I am giving medicines to her, if I am examining her, that is the respect. But actually this is not respect. Respect means how you are welcoming her. When she is waiting for your examination, what conditions you are providing there whether you are addressing all issues properly and identification of seven rights of the woman in a birthing is not known to many things. There are separate cubicles for examining pregnant women. Patients are provided chairs. Senior doctors counsel them maintaining eye contact. It leads to a more meaningful interaction and better responsiveness to treatment. We government hospital. But treatment uh, the guidelines for eight antenatal checkups instead of the earlier four checkups are being followed. Doctor एकदम अच्छे बताते थे सब जो कुछ problem है वो सब समझा के बोलते थे फिर उसके बाद में nurse भी समझा के बोलते थे उधर सब पॉश एकदम सब कुछ कोई problem नहीं था समझा के बोलते थे जो अपना timing पे अपना sonography करते थे सब कुछ सब timing पे करते थे वो. In the labour room. Curtains separate the beds. Doctors inquire about Priyanka Chandan Shiv. An agricultural labor, she traveled 160 kilometers for her delivery here after she suffered convulsions. Every woman has the right to information, to informed consent and refusal. For example, this consent form is for starting treatment of women with low amniotic fluid. When procedures are explained and consent is given, it increases participation of women in managing complications. We have a high dependency unit, we have an obstetric ICU, then 
we have all the latest technologies then we have all the latest uh, updates the protocols the post graduate students are there so i think this makes a lot of difference and above all i have a very dedicated team here respectful maternity care is giving the woman the right to choose a birthing position these positions are more upright and use gravity to push the baby down this hospital has stopped giving fundal pressure to women the tertiary care center sees between 50 to 60 deliveries every day last year over 17500 deliveries were conducted the companion was there she was supporting her during her pains so the uh, woman is offered companion also here aap ino rahe to acha lag raha hai kya inko bahar bitana hai kaisa hai acha lag raha hai so she is happy because somebody is sitting with her in the same way again uh, the woman is in labor and she is having her companion tumi kon hai yanche aaiye she is a mother mm-hmm. here also we have given that uh, birth companion this uh, labor positions birthing positions Just one year ago the government medical college in Aurangabad Maharashtra did not allow a birth companion today it is the norm a birth companion is trained by the doctor to look out for danger signs in the expectant mother hospitals are reluctant to allow birth companions in the labor ward saying it leads to overcrowding birth companions however help patients who feel abandoned when nurses are busy it gives a psychological support for the patient so it is important so i think that birth companion should be there this change what sir has done is good the nurses make the mother start breastfeeding within an hour after delivery like many other guidelines this was not being implemented earlier for the nurses in charge who have worked for 36 years in the hospital it meant getting used to a lot of changes अच्छा लग रहा है शुरू में शुरू में बोले थोड़ा सा नया चालू करे तो थोड़ा सा ये रहता है ना अपने को कि ऐसे कैसा है थोड़ा ये होता है टिपिकल लगता है शुरू में लेकिन अभी ठीक है में है आप या नहीं है फेवर में है लेकिन उनके लिए हैंड्स ज्यादा होना चाहिए आप हैंड्स होना चाहिए फेवर में है लेकिन हैंड्स होना वेल स्टाफ शॉर्टेज पोजेज अ रियल चैलेंज The team says the key to improving quality of care is a change in the attitude of healthcare providers. What are the danger signs during labor? It can be headache. In the classrooms, a new generation of doctors is being sensitized about respectful maternity care or RMC. Because in curriculum we don't find RMC, but now it is a need that women should get respectful maternity care. I always say that not only about mothers; it is true for any patient. The team's initiative has challenged the perception that if the facility has a high case load if there is a shortage of human resources there is no time to treat anyone with respect Respectful maternity care is central to providing good quality care in order to bring down the high prevalence of maternal mortality and morbidity in the country For every maternal death 20 to 30 women live with serious pregnancy related health complications When the public health system provides respectful maternity care it prevents overmedicalization of labor it prevents cesarean births it encourages women to seek care more importantly it gives the mother a positive pregnancy experience <laughs>